Hi, it's Amy back with another project share using this um, carousel gift box die. Um, this is a die uh, from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, it's a three dimensional carousel gift box. And I made these three and I shared them in a video last week. Um, but I had this idea that I really wanted to add um, a music box to them. And I just happened to have in my um, in my stash some music box movements. So I don't know why, but I have these uh, music boxes. I tell you why. I used to make um, and sell uh, glitter houses. And at one point I decided to make them into music boxes. Shortly after I stopped making them. So I ended up with a whole bunch of these music box movements. And I think I got them for cheap, but they're not cheap now. So I I don't know, or maybe I just bought a lot of them, so I was able to get it at a bulk price. Um, I had my company then, so I bought them, I'm sure, wholesale. Uh, anyway, they're about $10 of movement now uh, when I look on Amazon and other places, but I don't think I spent that much. Um, but I'm going to try and find a, a source for you. Um, anyway, these are uh, the these music boxes come with this key. But if you take that key off, you can buy these, um, let me show you. You can buy these circles uh, made for the music boxes that uh, screw right on. Okay, so because they're two separate pieces, you would, um, in the carousel box at the bottom of it, um, I just used a die that was about the size of that hole there. And, um, and I cut that in the base or the bottom of the box. And then this, after you've glued that onto the base of inside of the box, then you would screw this on and then your whole music box will be able to spin around with this glued to the inside. So anyway, I wanted to show you that part first and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you each of the music boxes that I made, talk about them a little bit, and then I'm gonna actually show you the music box um, being played and spinning around and playing the music. I hope it's not too annoying. Some people don't like the sound of mu music boxes, so you might not enjoy that part, but I won't, um, won't make it last long. So the first one that I made, um, I had this idea to make it sort of a um, elegant look. So I used gold foil paper, um, and then I used this die set that I just got it's a um, creative expressions die set. I really love it. It's by Jamie Rogers. It's um, a British uh, designer, and I really just love how elegant it is. I don't. I think you can make it. Oh, there we go. I think you can make it. You know, not as elegant. It could be just playful, but it just with all of this embossing details, it just showed up so well on that gold foil paper. And then I. Um, put gold foil paper through an embossing folder. This one's by Spellbinders and it has um, poinsettias on it. Um, I made uh, these uh, poinsettias with a die that is available at scrapbook.com, an Eileen Hall die. It's not meant to be poinsettias, but um, I showed a video about how I used vintage velvet ribbon, the kind that is like a florist ribbon, um, that cut beautifully uh, these uh, velvet poinsettias. So uh, let me show you now the video that um, shows this sweet music box in motion. Here's another um, music box that I made. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you in the last one how, how this comes together. So this is the base of the box. Um, and oh, it's going to play a little bit, but I'm screwing this off so that you can see there is the where I die cut in the center. And you should try and make it as close to the center as you can. Otherwise, it sort of spins a little. Um, the orbit is a little bit off. Uh, it still works. Um, and then this one. He it didn't fit with the hat on the snowman, so I put the snowman's hat on the top. So when you take it off, 
his hat comes off and then you can see the music box in there. It makes a little less room in there for whatever gift you're going to put in this box, but um, I think I think it'll still work. And this die, I really I really enjoyed using it. It's an off um, or no name brand from Amazon uh, and it was I just cut it out on um, glitter paper that I I used um, adhesive foam and I put the foam on the glitter paper before I cut it out instead of cutting it out separately the foam and the glitter paper and that you know how when you cut the um, dies out that it gives a rounded edge it rounded both the glitter page paper and the foam at the same time plus all of these sort of embossed lines went deeper because of that cushioning of the foam so I just wanted to give you that tip of um, uh, when you're doing a die to that you want to have um, I don't know sort of pop out a little bit try uh, adhering the paper to the foam before you cut it out um, see see if you have any luck also to give it a little bit of dimension I added um, this very light blue uh, Copic marker to the areas where he would be uh, shadowed and it sort of makes him a more three-dimensional and there's his little puppy following behind I just thought that would be so cute sort of spinning around um, okay so I showed you how the music box is inside and that's glued very sturdy. I also, um, for that base part, I, um, I glued many, many layers of paper card and uh, cardstock together to make that super uh, sturdy. Um, I wanted to make sure that it could stand up to that torque of spinning, um, you know, turning on this music box so it'll last, you know, longer. Um, and then I, uh, I added this bead uh, to the top using, um, let me see, do I have one around? It's a lollipop stick. Um, and because the lollipop stick, I wish I had one. I don't think I have one. Oh, here's one. Um, the lollipop stick, I don't know if you can even see, but in the center of it, it's basically just paper that is rolled and rolled and rolled. So the center of it is not as um, dense as the other parts of it. So you can actually put a pin um, in through the center of the, um, of, um, through this lollipop stick. So I put a bead, uh, what, this is just a you know straight pin that I put through a bead and then through this and glued it all together so it's really sturdy um, so the, and then I put a bead on the inside that's my trick to make it so that you can easily uh, take it off and on but I because of the music box in there I didn't want to have the pole going all the way down it would just sort of get in the way so okay I'm going to show you the video of this one in action All right, here's the next one. This one um, actually is the second one that I made. The, the one that I just showed you uh, was the third one that I made. Um, and this one, uh, I, I don't know if there's anything different to show you, but I'll just, I'll just sort of show you how it looks and how I've um, decorated it. This one I used uh, Rosie Studio paper and um, her paper line and uh, also the puffy stickers and um, chipboard stickers all to decorate it. Oh, and then also the acetate that I used I think is really sweet. I got it from um, scrapbook.com and uh, I think it's a Christmas design, uh, but um, I used it in the, n the next one, which is not a Christmas design and it's two sided, which I think is really special. I tried to look to see if one special was on one side was more bold than the other and I couldn't tell. Um, and they both also have the holographic um, stars on both sides. So this is a nice very very heavyweight uh, acetate. Another one that I used um, is from Doodlebug. It's a heavyweight acetate. Um, this one I used on 
uh, the last one that I showed you. And that one is gold foil. It does have a, a side that's better than the other, the other side. So this side I put on the facing out inside the box. And then um, on that first one, this is, uh, I think it's Crafter's Companion. It was a whole pad of, of two different designs in gold and then in silver um, with this, these lines going down. So in that first, uh, in the first box that I showed you, I used this one. This is also pretty heavy weight. So, okay, um, I'll show you the video of that one in motion. And lastly, this one, I used this um, collection, paper collection from Violet Studio. Um, I think it's called Little Circus. Um, and it is a beautiful paper pack and so whimsical and sweet. Um, I used the papers for this one. I'm going to use it again. I just think it just lent itself to this uh, sweet project. Um, and so this one is not, I didn't make into a Christmas design carousel box. Um, I just did an everyday sort of one and I used that carousel box. I was sorry, the carousel horse. Um, again, the one that I used last week. This time I didn't paper piece it. I just used it as a, um, a white glitter cardstock that I um, adhered to the foam before I cut it out, just like I did for the snowman. And then I glued a little gem in this little circle area for that. I also cut the pole for these so that it would sort of uh, be in that um, that middle part. This one I didn't cut as much, but um, anything else? Okay, I did also add the, do the finial at the top um, with a pen and a bead and the, um, this one just had a tiny little bit of that lollipop stick. And I'll show you this one in motion. So those are the four carousel gift boxes that I have made into music boxes. And um, I just really loved how easy these were to put together, how fun they were to layer the paper on and to decorate. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, to fill them with um, candy. Um, and I think if I just had little uh, sort of treat bags filled with candy, um, I could put them you know, one in each section so you can sort of see the candy out, out the aperture. I think that would be really cute. Anyway, when I do that, I'll show you um, how it turns out and if it, if it worked. Or maybe just fill it with wrapped candy, the whole, um, the whole box with, uh, with wrapped candy. Hey, if you like this project and want to see more like it, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Take care.